What's up guys? mgo 40 here. I wanted to talk about the uh, disappearance of hand traps in this format. Um, kind of how shared ride is replaced to max seat kind of thing and how we didn't actually anticipate this to happen. So, you guys don't know shared ride whenever your opponent does something get, or like drawing. I believe you can draw a card as well type of thing. I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head, but Max C and Valor have pretty much phased out. Hell, the prices on those cards are five bucks a piece. I don't know if it's because they just got reprinted again. I could be wrong. But, you know, Max C was always one of those cards that you would play against Dragon Rollers and their inherent special summons. The fact that Quill Fort's dual special summoning once off a of pendulum, you would only draw one card. It's not even that good. So, I believe people are hopping on this sh shared ride wagon kind of as like a countermeasure to searching general things like that. Plus, to kind of top things off, Valors just fall into the wayside because, once again, there's not very many effects that are really good for negating anymore um, that aren't just floater effects or things like that. Because, hell, 90% of the Burning Abyss deck is floater to the deck, which is kind of ridiculous when they designed that. I don't know what they were thinking, but it's pretty broken. So, outside of that, um, we're currently rotating on hand traps. Uh, the format is definitely going towards shared ride. It's being, I guess, the choice from a lot of players, um, at least from the hype that I've been hearing. I could be wrong. I'm not sure if I could be right here, but the price on the card's starting to go up for a reason, and there's a reason behind that. And I really haven't seen that reason as of yet, outside of just the additional drawability from your opponent's cards. So, outside of that, it's a shame. I actually really like the hand trap factor from the deck. Um, now with skill drain being a thing, and you know, most school force being unaffected by lower level monsters, ITT, that's why so Scarecrow doesn't work against them. There's a reason for all of this. So Gores, Tragoidia, Swift Scarecrow, Effect Veiler, Maxi, all of these things have phased out. I think Battle, Battle Vader people are attempting to try um, because it doesn't necessarily affect the opposing Quill cool Fort monster because he just ends the battle phase. That's what people are really trying to like abuse right now. But once skill drains up on the board, um, pretty much everything's worthless from that point on, depending on what matchup you're playing because Quill cool Fort is just the epiphany of broken for the current time being until we get stuff like Neckcloth or other decks that can move equally as fast to Quill cool Fort. Um, that put turn to presence on the board. Both decks do have outs to each other, skill drain, emptiness, uh, general things like that. Um, I also heard my friend tell me, uh, this was something that kind of shocked me too, that emptiness isn't as good as it used to be. And emptiness right now is just the style of card of, all right, I have my lock on the board, my 20 beater plus X number of other guys, so I'm just gonna set emptiness and ensure that I win the game. Um, it's not a guarantee if you just have the beat six on the board, but the emptiness ensures that you can lock up the board and just totally lock out your opponent. Same thing as skill drain. Just that little extra insurance to ensure that your opponent can't do any BS plays. Uh, snap victory from you, just like that. So guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below about these hand traps and emptiness in the mountain. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.